Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Salamat nga po pala sa lahat ng nanood ng part 1 ng aking uh, lesson ng grade 9 mathematics, yung illustrations of quadratic equation. Itong susunod na video ay karugtong o part 2 ng una nating lesson. Sa mga sumusuporta kay Sir Ernie, sa mga nagsasubscribe sa aking channel at nanonood, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Asahan nyo na marami pa akong isishare sa inyong mga lesson at sana matutunan nyo para sa inyong lahat ito. Yun lang po at God bless to everyone. Okay, take note of this. When b is equal to 0 in the equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, It results to a quadratic equations of the form a x squared plus c is equal to zero. So from here, the result will be a x squared plus c is equal to zero. Take note, and if you're going to observe this, there is no b x in the second equation. Why? Because our b is equal to zero, and zero times x is zero. So there's no second term. What will happen is to Uh, retain a x squared plus c is equal to zero. It can be happen because uh, that even though there are only two terms in the left side of the equation, but still in the second degree equation, therefore it's what we call quadratic equation, but not in standard form. So here are examples. Number one, x squared plus five is equal to zero. So observe that the left side of the equation there are only two terms. Why? Because our b is equal to zero. Also, negative two x squared plus seven is equal to zero. Sixteen x squared minus nine is equal to zero. All of these examples are also considered quadratic equation, but they are not written in standard form. Okay, we have an exercises. So in these exercises, I will guide you how to do this. Identify the following equations, whether quadratic or not quadratic. If the equation is quadratic, change it to standard form and write the values of a, b, and c if needed. Okay, uh, to determine whether it's quadratic or not, first and foremost, you need to uh, know if the equation is in the second degree equation or th there is an exponent which is 2 for x. Example, x squared. If nothing, uh, maybe we can simplify the expression until we have that. Second power. Okay, let's try now. Number one, negative seven is equal to six x minus two x squared. Is it quadratic equation or not? Okay, the correct answer is quadratic equation. Why? Because of the degree. Because of the degree two here. Yeah. So we have negative two x squared. Eh, itong itong nasasabi ko. A quadratic equation, but it is not written in standard form. So it is a requirement to write it in a standard form. How to write this in a standard form? So the left side is negative seven, which is the constant, and the right side is six x minus two x squared. So we're going to transpose these two to the left side to make it zero. So let's start from the higher one. Negative two x squared transposed to the left. This will be Positive two x squared, and then positive six x will be negative six s x, and retain negative seven. Why? Because it's already there in the left. Hindi tayo na na transpose. Na talaga original siya ng negative seven sa left. So we write lang negative seven is equal to zero. So to find a, b, and c, we're already there in the standard form. So our a is two. And our b is negative six, and our c is negative seven. Number two, four x minus five x is equal to twelve. Is it quadratic or not quadratic? Not quadratic. Why not quadratic, Sir Ernie? Because the degree is first degree for x, so the exponent is one only, not two. Okay, number three, negative five is equal to six x multiplied by the quantity two x plus three. Is it quadratic or not quadratic? The correct answer is quadratic equation. Why quadratic equation? Because as you can see, uh, we can still uh, simplify this right side in order for us to show the second power or the second degree. So we have to write negative five here, 
and then 6x distribute to this 2, so 6x times 2x, the answer is 12x squared, and 6x multiplied by 3, our product is positive 18x. So we're not yet done, we need to transform this into standard form. So what we have to do is to transpose this to the left and then always change the sign. From positive 12x, change it to negative. Okay, this will be negative 12x squared. And positive 18x, transpose to the left side, this will be changed for the sign negative 18x. And we write negative 5 here because it's already there in the left is equal to zero. I want you to know that if we are not transposing one integer, the sign will be the same. So we can change it if we change its place from left to right or right to left. Okay, our A, standard form, our A is negative 12, B is negative 18, and C is negative 5. Okay, let's proceed to number 4. For 64x squared minus 9 is equal to zero. Is it quadratic or not? The answer is quadratic equation. Yes, still quadratic equation, even though it's not in standard form, only binomial, but still considered as quadratic equation. Why is it earning? Because the degree is second degree. So we have x squared here. Number five, the given is binomial multiplied by binomial is equal to 12. So what we have to do is to follow the last example. Okay, uh, is it quadratic or not? By the way, this is quadratic equation. Sir, so why? There's no x squared. Yes, there's no, it's not in a second degree because we're not yet done in simplifying. So you can see the second degree or uh, actually looking at the second power if we are done multiplying this using FOIL method. So 1 half x times 4x is equal to 2x squared. 1 half of 4 is 2. Okay? And then we have to multiply 1 half x by 8, then the product is positive 4x. So we're done in the first term, go to the second term. 10 multiplied by 4x, the answer is 40x, or the product. And then our 10 multiplied by 8, the product is positive 80. And then transpose positive 12 to the left, this will be negative 12. And there's no number to the right, this will be 0. We're not yet done, so we're going to rewrite 2x squared and combine these two. We have 44x because 4x plus 40x is 44x. So plus 68. Why 68? Because the sum of positive 8 and negative 12 is 68. Okay, so it's equal to 0. That's standard form. Our A is 2B is 44 and C is 68. So that's our lesson for today. I hope you understand, you really understand that you can really understand our lesson. And if you have a question, just uh, ask me. I have a Facebook, Erang Olipio.